Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Game and Pie, and this is Let's Play Pac-Man World 3, made for his 25th anniversary. Brought to you by Namco, the most awesome people that brought you games like Pac-Man World 2 and Pac-Man World 1, and probably some other stuff as well. Now, there is no memory card for this. So, um, we're gonna have to make new save file. Uh, yes? Exactly. So, can we, like, make one? Okay, I guess we'll make one later. This is going to be on normal mode. Because you know what? I'm a fairly average guy. So, here we have a nice day in Pac-Land. There's Miss Pac-Man right there. Junior! Junior! Junior, you didn't happen to see the... Oh, thanks, <laughs> Schnooky. Happen to see any sign of the birthday boy? Did someone say cake? Nope. <laughs> but there it is anyway. Sugar stuffed power pellet a la orange? You shouldn't have. Well, you only turned 25 once. And indeed, time so keeps happening. Old. Ah, oh, sweetie, nah. you're only as 25 as you feel. Thanks, honey. You and Junior are the best presents I ever had. And you're right. I look fantastic. <laughs> so, yes, uh, here we go. Is something wrong? Honey. My pack sense is tingling. That's new. And he's gone. Oh, uh, there he is. He's okay. Just completely losing his balance. Down from there. You're not 24 anymore, you know. But I'm not doing anything. And there he goes again. So work Who is with me, you this spark guy. showering excuse from microcircuitry. He has Pac-Man stuff in the background. Okay, honey, it was funny once. Don't panic! Everything's under control! Really now? I don't think it'll happen! Yeah, it did. Oh, there he is! There he is! Hey, Pac-Man, come over here! Oh, well, oh, there he goes. Oh, there he is again! Hey! hey oh, no, no, there he is! Bruiser! Very oh, well green. This birthday still Compared better than my 20th. Actually, in Pac-Man no! 2. Oh well. And gone. Happy birthday, dear. There he goes. Not there anymore. Loading screens. Who's there? Pac-Man! The signal's bad here. Some idiot teleported me into a pit. Is that clear? You shouldn't rush the jump, Pac-Man. Teleportation is not so easy. Orson? Is that you? Are you by Orson. the idiot of whom we speak? Ha ha ha. the border and they squirm. Squirmed? I would, for you again, but I can't lock on. Where are you? I'm in some sort of... Landfill pit. There's green goo, some trash looking junk, and it smells really bad in here. Ooh. Really? The smell. Oh, you're down yeah. there. Ew. Rather you than me. Dude. Take your way upwards. I'll try to think of some way to help. What about the monsters? There's usually monsters at times like this. Indeed, Pac Man, you would be correct. Now then, it will be going through a tutorial on the screen. Oh, it wants me to punch things. Yes, that's a new feature. Um, in Pac-Man World 2, all of your abilities pretty much had to do with platforming primarily, and then um, fighting things is a secondary feature. In this game, you can punch things! Pac-Man finally decides to use those boxing gloves of his. But, like the original game, you can also do the butt bounce. Basically like a ground pound in the Mario series. Except you bounce back up. Which is pretty darn awesome, really. However, there is a difference between the uh, butt bounces in uh, 
Pac-Man roll two and the butt bounces these days, in that you can only do uh -huh. three of them uh -huh. consecutively. Chick. These are the guys that smell so bad, huh? Apparently so, Pac-Man. As you will see here, however, the last one does create this cool shockwave. Right now, these guys are going down about two hits. So, the, so you know, shockwave isn't very important. But, later on, it will be quite important, really. Oh, yeah. Uh, it says A, A, O, oh, right, because you have to do the initial jump, yeah. Bam. Now, um, like the original game, there's a lot of stuff to collect. However, pack dots, there actually doesn't seem to be a maximum amount. Uh, it just sort of adds to your score generally. Meanwhile, whenever it comes to, like, these lemons and melons over here, or, well, watermelons in this particular case, there are a, uh, set number of those oranges as well. As you can see, there's five of them in this level. Oh, dear. Okay, yeah. You still have three health, like in the, uh, other games. That hasn't changed. But you'll also probably notice that the art style has changed quite a bit. In uh, Pac-Man World 2, everything was very colorful, very bright, crazy awesome. In this game, well, I mean, just sort of look around. It's a bit, um, more realistic, I guess you could say. Sort of. Um, definitely an interesting art design. Uh, personally, I don't feel that it's very Pac-Man. If you... If any of you understand what I mean by that, it's like Pac-Man is a yellow ball running around, very cartoony, and now he's got this um, kind of unfitting world around him. Oh dear! And uh, again, yeah, that's something down there. Acid, green muck. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so we got more monsters. And that's also another thing that you'll probably notice. There is a lot more fighting in this game. Pac-Man Roll 2 had some fighting sections. You know, it had bosses. It had a, a few enemies here and there. But for the most part, it was pure platforming. This game, well, it definitely has platforming, but it also has a lot of enemy fighting and puzzles as well. Pac-Man Roll 2, well, yeah, it didn't have a whole lot of puzzles, really. It's, um, all in all, it is a very different game from Pac-Man World 2. And, uh, yeah, I'd say that's a good idea, you know. Uh, doing the same thing too much is, uh, gonna get stale. Though, really, um, the game is pretty easy. <laughs> I'll get more into that later on, but, uh, I'm just gonna say that up front. It's a pretty easy game compared to Pac-Man World 2. Nothing like Clyde is in this game. For those of y'all that watched my Let's Play of that. Alrighty then. So yeah, here we are in this junk pit. Pretty simple stuff right now. Just running around, beating up a couple enemies we might run across. Pac-Man can eat pack dots while feeding people's brains out. Wonderful. I don't think I'll get 100% in this level. In fact, I don't think I'll get 100% in any level, because that's another change. The levels are ridiculously long. All right, that's just, they're, they're pretty crazy. This one is relatively short, but, well, you'll see a good example of how long these things are exactly, fairly soon. Would you believe me if I said the whole world was in danger? Why, yes, I would. So anyway, there we go. Now, something that I'd like to point out real quick. Uh, the music of this game. I consider music in video games a very important aspect. You know, a, a game can sort of completely gain or lose an impact based on uh, a soundtrack alone, really. Gameplay is, you know, everything else is very important. But if something lacks a soundtrack, it simply won't have that, um, dynamic punch, or, um, something... It'll just feel missing. Well, that's really the case in, uh, this game. In Pac-Man World 2, they had a great soundtrack, awesome themes. In this one, it's... it's kind of lacking, to be honest. Um, you... I almost never notice that there is a soundtrack most of the time. It's typically very quiet, very mellow, 
And, you know, for certain areas of, the, of a game, that'll probably be good, you know. Every once in a while you find an area where that works, but not for an entire game. <laughs> But then again, I, get, I suppose that the uh, Portal games, they didn't have a whole lot of music for their majority. And so, um, that still works. Oh, here's a new move. Um, Pac-Man can wall jump in this game. Another move that he stole from Mario. <laughs> Here we have these uh, Pac-Man trophies. They're basically like any other collectible. Except it's, well, it's not a fruit. All right, so we got these grinders here, these little gas traps. What? Very good, very good. More health. You can tell that this is the first level, considering that they're tossing you health wedges left and right. It looks Hitting like this weird busted machinery still sort of works. Yeah. Alrighty then, let's go. I tried watching a Let's Play or two of this. Uh, before doing this, you know, just to sort of see what kind of stuff to say. And, um, you know, I didn't really like a whole lot of the Let's Plays that people were doing. There was this one dude who was playing it on his PSP, which was kind of cool. And it showed that apparently the PSP version of the game has a few, uh, short cutscenes that, uh, the GameCube version that I'm playing here, it actually doesn't have. So that's certainly interesting. And, uh, he, he would, he would have, uh, the best commentary about, out of everything that I saw, I'd say. I saw, I'd say, two, maybe three different ones. Well, I'm hoping to set a new bar, personally, but who knows. Maybe, maybe not. Alright, so we got a switch here. Typically very important to hit switches. Connects to that arm over there, and it pulls up this little thingamabob. Yeah! All right, let's keep going. Oh, hey, who made these robots? I know. Hey. Well, at least I can get across the goo now. Dude, I'm an only child, man. Don't be dissing on me. Ah, well. Who knows? Maybe I'll be an evil genius someday. Mwahaha. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. All right, so here we have a... Uh, wait, wait, not quite yet. Okay, now y'all might be wondering what the heck this thing is right here. It's a save point. They have a save in the middle of a level. And these, these things appear practically... I think they appear every level. Maybe even sometimes two or three times in a level. That's how long these levels are, guys. It's ridiculous. I mean, this level, we're actually nearing the end of it at this point, but whoa! Uh, platform, platform, come back up, thank you. But, you know, the levels, they get longer. Much longer. Not necessarily harder. The puzzles get harder, that's for sure. And enemies, they get tougher, sure, but... I mean, really, it's not that hard to press the A button repeatedly. <laughs> Though that doesn't work on all of them, of course. We'll, we'll find... Well, actually, you'll see examples of things where you can't just press the A button repeatedly in the next level. Or, well, even in the next few seconds, really. So, what's this Irwin guy up to? It's bad, Batman. Let's just say he threatens Pac-Land, the Spectral Realm, the rest of the world, and everything else as well! Now, the Spectral Realm. We'll be getting into that. Uh... So that, that's a very important plot point. It's where the uh -oh. ghosts live. I'm detecting a rise in energy in your sector, Pac-Man. Details of my sector's energy should be between me and Miss Pac. Thank you very much. And innuendo Please, ensues. Do you see a swirly thing? Yeah, yeah. Mr. No Fun Swirly Thing. Check. Viewing ghosts. Check. It's not ghosts. Sectoral monsters. Cover the ghosts. You'll need a power pellet. Okay, so Spectral Monsters. More tough than ghosts, except not at all. You fight them exactly like you'd fight ghosts in Pac-Man World 2. 
In fact, you know what? In some cases, they're actually easier. Because the ghosts in Pac-Man World 2, they had projectiles to toss at you. These guys, well, later on they do, but right now, not so much. They're just chasing you down and trying to slap you across the face. Or, well, the back of the head for these two particular guys. Yeah. Now, um, he's he, they're called Spectral Monsters. This is actually a reference to the old cartoon, where the ghosts in that game, well, they were known as Ghost Monsters. So, you know, Spectral, Ghost, and then Monster. So, yeah, basically a reference to the old cartoon series. Pretty cool, if I do say so. Alright, there's this one last guy over here. Sometimes they'll glitch out and start flying in places you can't reach. That isn't fun. Oh no, it didn't- oh, oh, there he is. Okay, good. I was about to say, oh no, I didn't get this on recording, did I? Well, of all the ghostly things I ever ate, those are the least pleasant. I need a mint. Indeed. The spectral monsters come from the spectral realm, which is being siphoned by Erwin. Which is why they're in a seriously bad mood. I see. The spectral realm? Don't you ghosts have something to do with that? It's our home, too. Now, can you see why I need your help? I don't know exactly what Irwin's up to, but it involves my home. Which yep. is why I'm in a seriously bad mood. Come and find me at the outpost. It's just a little bit further. And just by a little bit further, he means an entire level after this one is done. Which won't be that long, really. I'm just gonna collect some power... Or, no, power... No, what am I talking about? Pack dots. Alright, uh, don't need that health wedge. Grabbing all these little dots here. And, uh, ooh, there's an orange over there. I think I could go for an orange. Oranges are delicious! Yes. All right, let's hear. Oh, and now we have a card. Yep, there are cards scattered throughout the game. I have never found all of them, but I'll certainly show you the ones that I can find. Yes, this is by no means a 100% run of the game. All right, now here we have a Galaxian again. Uh, just like in Pac-Man World 2, you get this, it sends you into a maze, there's one in each level. Well, actually, sometimes there are several mazes in a single level. But there's never more than one Galaxian. We'll get into what the other mazes are dealt with, uh, well, when we have to deal with them. <laughs> so yes, I'd have to say that this is probably the, uh, one of the best soundtracks of the game, really. Very nice. I have no idea how these ghosts are programmed. I mean, I guess I could go into how the original ghosts were programmed for like the 50 bajillionth time, but I think you'd rather me not do that. Oh, and uh, sometimes a special little power-up will appear. Letting you freeze the ghosts in place, or uh, do other various superpowers. Pac-Man jump. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna need to rev roll on that. We found a few of those plates back in Pac-Man World 2. I'm not gonna do it quite yet, though. Got more stuff to collect. Let's see here. More pack dots What's in these boxes over here? More pack dots again. Um, I don't believe that pack dots give you health in this game, actually, as they did in Pac-Man World 2. Every time you collected a multiple of 50, it would give you an extra health wedge, assuming you were, uh, down by one. Alright, let's start revving this thing up. And an elevator comes down in the background over there. Let's ride it. Okay, so my initials. I'm going to go with uh, G and P. Oh, there was the G. Then down to the N. And then a P. Game and Pie. Continue. Yes, I am sure that I want to continue. Continue. 
awesomenessity. So we have a little loading screen. They don't take too long. Which I'm very Orson, glad about. I thought you were going to teleport me. The, um, I can't calibrate Pac-Man. Atmospheric, uh, interference from the, uh, radiation. Uh, oh, just keep following the path. I'm not far away at all. All right, folks. I'm going to leave you all here. Until next time, I'm Mr. Game and Pie. Be sufficiently awesome.